Hey everyone, Minazir, and welcome in a new video in Rust practicing. In this video or this demo, we will build uh, this. Actually, be the the part one of building a Rust uh, CLI application that uh, is like the Grub uh, application that like uh, takes a query, compare it or search it within a file, and then return all the lines that contains this query. Um, I will call this application ManyGrip, and it's inspired from the Rust, uh, learning Rust language uh, documentation. And also I will discuss a cool approach I'm using uh, to build this uh, application or to develop this application. First, let's start with my Rust demos directory, and then I will create cargo new uh, many grab and then this will be a library and then i will go to many grab and open it on my vs code and let me create the new main uh, rs and create the first function the main function and as usual i just want to make sure that uh, everything fine, everything works fine. So I'll just go, go run, and yeah, seems good. So the approach I'm gonna build uh, or use the, the approach I'm gonna use to develop this application this time, I uh, was inspired. It was inspired from the prime time YouTube uh, channel. I will uh, link the channel and the video. I watched it and inspired me to do this and simply it's like uh, build everything you want to build to solve this problem in one big chunk or, on, or in one go and then once you have this code functional and running feel free to iterate on it on uh, future iterations and refactor it to have what is known as uh, clean code and it's a simple approach fix the problem solve it have your code running this will help you like understand the problem better and then once you have this code up and running feel free to like refactor it to towards a cleaner code and i'll start with a simple to-do list for this application and what i want to do is i want to uh, accept arguments so I want, I want to accept arguments from the terminal. Once I accepted the arguments, I want to define the file path for searching and the query. And once I have those as well, I'm, I want to open and read the file using the file path. And query the file and finally print the results as simple as this so my code or the code that we are going to develop together now will will solve this problem in this order let's start with the first thing is accepting arguments to accept arguments i will define a new variable variable arguments And this for this I will use the let me see here args and args coming from the standard library in the args as you can see here. and then args I'm gonna collect and because you want to collect you need to annotate the type of the collection you want so here I want a, a collection of type vector and a string so that's it. Now you are accepting arguments from the terminal. Just to make sure that everything works and to test this up. So like for uh, argument in arguments, I'll just print all the arguments. Let's give it a try. Like org one and org two, and as you can see, we have a 
three lines and this is important to notice so because we will need this uh, a little bit in, in this tutorial so the first one will be always the the source of the the process or the code so it's the application itself so this will this place will be always blocked for for this uh, information so this is the first one the second one here is the first argument we pass to our application and the second one is the third argument that we pass to our application now i have uh, my arguments and this slide checks this option so i have uh, now i'm accepting arguments once i accepted the arguments i need to move to the next step which is defining the file path and the query so i let like a uh, file path of equal it will be of type string i think i give it will be a reference string reference reference to a string and then it will accept like arguments as i mentioned zero will be always the instantiator or the process then i'll take the one and then i have the query same thing reference to a string and uh, from arguments i will take the third one and now i define the file path and the query so i'm good to go here as you can see we are moving forward to solve the problem as fast as we can with the less code we can and we don't care about like uh, code style design architecture anything we're just moving forward to solve this problem as a proof of concept and then we will just uh, iterate on it and then refactor it later in uh, different parts so open and read file using file okay now i need to open the file so i will set let contents of the file equal i need a file system so like that uh, read to string I, read, I will read what? I will read like the file path and because this is returning a result object I will just use unwrap in case it couldn't or uh, it couldn't open the file or like have uh, through an error so I just use unwrap to return the file handler or uh, file and now I have the contents uh, before moving on I just want to create a file I will call it file txt and within this file, we just list any random uh, so lines. Rust is lovely, and uh, YouTube YouTube is good, and learning Rust is fun. So I have two lines with Rust. One line is YouTube. I can also my name is you know, and just to test it out. Now I have a file. I have random lines within the file. I now, up to this line, I fetched all the contents from the file. Let's uh, let's make sure it's it's working. So let me here for that in contents dot lines. So here I'm just getting an iterator on over all the lines within the file. And here I just uh, print line a do that so i print all the lines let's give it a try cargo run and this is a separator and then i pass it the first argument from my point of view it's text and i i don't care about the word because it will return everything and as you can see it read all the lines and printed out here so and this marks this task is done moving forward i need to query the file so i have the query and then i have the file contents i need to query that so this is uh, straightforward i just move, uh, rename this to line i also need a container to store the results so let me use uh, results and this of type uh, vector and string letters equals vector i'll instantiate a new one new empty one 
and then for line. So it's very simple. I say like if line, I use the helper function contains. If line contains query. If the line in I'm um, I'm checking now contains the string I'm looking for, just get the results and push this uh, line to it. And that's it. And then at the end of the day, I want to just uh, print results or I can say like search results. I want a pretty print, so I just use and here pass it the whole uh, vector and now let's give it a try now i'm looking for uh, maybe the word mina in the file yes just one result one line my name is mina let me look for rust the word rust and now yeah rust is lovely learning rust is fun finally let me look for youtube which is also one youtube is good and uh, Reaching here, Marcus as well, this has done, this is done. So, this is the, uh, reaching this point, this is the end of this first tutorial, or or the, the part one of this tutorial, or building this application. And uh, we touched it on accepting arguments and opening file. The next parts, we will touch on refactoring and why we are refactoring and then having a better code structure, a better error handling, and uh, moving on. I think this application uh, might end in two to three different parts. Um, I hope it adds value to you. And as I mentioned before in my previous videos, I'm still learning Rust, and I'm learning through practicing and teaching others. Um, I'm open to feedback and questions, and I'm sure there, there are different resolutions and maybe better resolutions than the one I'm doing. So don't hesitate to send it my way. I love to learn and uh, I love to scale up. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and it add value to you. Uh, see you in the part two of this tutorial and have a good day. Bye bye.